You guys ready to see all the decks I've skated so far? Well, a lot of them are missing, but anyhow. I've got my notes to help me out. I had a few Walmart boards I lost them. I don't know where those were at. And those are from like way long ago. The first one I got was in the mid 90s when I was a real little kid. And I started pushing around in the basement. Skated that deck forever. Then I had a few other Walmart boards. And I don't know where they're at. Um, then Kryptonix 7.5. I think that's from like 2006. Uh, another Kryptonix. Lost that one. World Industries 7.5. I skated mostly 7.5s back then. That was like 2007. Then 2008. Okay, after that one, Element Helium 7.5. And then I actually had a birdhouse after that, which was like a micro mini board. It was real small. It was like a 6.75. I used to skate like the smallest boards. I don't know how I did it, but that was just my preference at the time. Then I had that Element 7.5. Then a Hardogram uh, 7.8. Another World Industry is that one snapped. Um, I think it. It's like a 7.6. And then, actually I have that one in the wrong place. These two are switched around. Then I, I had the Fiber Light, 7.5. Then the Almost Impact 7. It's really small. Then I had a 7.75 Yacher Blank, which was very nice. Then I had a Almost uh, Louis Marnell. May he rest in peace. Uh, he died of diabetes. He forgot to take his insulin shot. Uh, before he went to sleep one night, and he passed away in his sleep. So may he rest in peace. Really chill guy. Never got to meet him, but I wish I could have. And actually, I have the same deck. I got it again, but it's in my closet, and I held on to it. And I'm very glad that I did. It's in perfect condition. It's Lewis Marnell. I'm very happy I have it. That was my first 8-inch wide board. Why it's missing, it actually snapped, and then someone stole it. Yeah. On Go Skate Day, too. And then, uh, almost... 8 inch wide. Then I had a Crime 7.63. I loaned it out to uh, Andrew Richards. It broke, you know, that happens when you loan decks out. Uh, toy Machine 7.87. Then I had a Moose 7.75. Then a Punked. Uh, that was like a D2 shop deck pretty much. 8. Then I had a blank 787. Uh, Corbin borrowed it, it broke, and then I never got it back. Uh, Creature 763 that I got from Andrew uh, after he skated it. And then I had a. Uh, how many blanks did I have then after that creature? I'm going to scroll through here. Um, I had. After that creature, I had. Two blanks that I donated into a board drive last Christmas, and they went to uh, some poor kids, and now they're skating those. Then the light speed that I got from Andrew. Obviously, that one broke, but I enjoyed skating it. Then a blank. Then a 1031. Apparently 2010 was the year of me snapping decks, I guess. Um, let me see. After the 1031, I had a uh, deck that is missing. Maybe two that are missing. I'm trying to find them. Let's see here. Back to the 1031. Where is it? Just trying to scroll, th scroll through here. Uh, yeah. Okay. A blank that I donated, but it didn't go into the... There was two blanks, actually. One was a 8, the other one was a 8.25. They both... I donated them into the board drive, but they never got, like, into the drive. And I actually have them, but I lost them. Uh, but some kids actually went into the basement of the skate shop I was working at the time. And they actually broke all the decks. And then I talked to them about not breaking stuff that's about then I I basically talk to them about like trying to give them a lesson on not to break stuff that's not yours um and then the toy machine Ed Templeton then I had that blank 
then that blank, then the foundation. Uh, oh yeah, sizes, 8, 8, 8, 8, 2, 5, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8 point something or other. Then the girl deck I had after the foundation. Wow, this keeps scrolling me along. I have to like keep scrolling back. Um, yeah, then the, okay, the girl, then the mystery, the baker. Okay, yeah, sizes, 8, 8, 1, 3, 8. Then the enjoy was 8. Then I had a toy machine, Matuki, 7.87. I donated that one to the board drive. And then this moose. Then another toy machine. It was a Sekdai, 8 inches wide. Donated that one. Then the stereo, Mike Von Gutten borrowed it, and he actually gave it a stretch crack that goes all the way through. It's crazy. Uh, after that, I had that crooked, and then after that, I had a blank black moose deck. That one I donated, and then oh yeah, sizes I keep forgetting. After that, I think I left off on the enjoy. Or no, wait, no, the toy machine. Okay, the moose. Uh, that moose is an eight. Then the one after that, Sekdai was an 8. Then the Stereo was an 8.1. Then an 8.06 Crooked. And then the blank Black Moose was an 8. Then the Almost Double Impact is an 8.5. Oh yeah, I also had another blank. It was an 8.5 that I skated. I donated it to Mike. Uh, I forget his last name, but he was in rehab and I donated it. I gave him, I gave him a, a, a complete. Uh, let me see here. Moose Mario graphic I had after that almost. I donated that one. Then I had a zero. It was a Jamie Thomas. Julian Frank has that. And he bought two decks off of me. I was actually going to let him borrow them for free, like I do for everyone else who needs a deck. Um, but he offered me a little bit of money, so now they're in his collection of decks for good. And I'm very happy that they're in good hands. Uh, oh, man, it keeps scrolling me along. Come on, stop scrolling on me. Uh, let me see here. Anti Hero? And that one was one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, all the Deluxe and the uh, Toy Machine, almost. Yeah, those are mostly all my favorites. And then the RTAs I'm skating now are just absolutely amazing. Then I had that reel. And then I had that Blackout, which was also very nice. The reel was one of my favorites, and so is that Blackout. That Blackout was amazing. Then another reel, that was my R1 that snapped in 2012. And then I had a given, 8 inches wide. Oh yeah, 8.12787, 8 8.12, 8, 8.06, 8. Then the black label's an 8. Uh, after the label, I had a fresh. That was like a board sponsor I had for a little bit. They only sent me one deck, and then they dropped off at the face of the earth. I think it was like to cop for copyright issues, but I loaned that one out to Blake Waddell. He has that one. Then I had a black hole. I don't know what happened with that deck. I think I loaned it to someone, and I forget who I loaned it out to. I'll have to contact them, see if I can get it back, if they're done using it. Which they probably are, because that was like years ago. Or not years ago, but it was like over a year ago. Then I had a Moose Wakefield. Uh, that one I lost. I don't know what happened with that. Then the Santa Cruz, then the Flip. Oh yeah, all those were uh, eights, I believe, up into the Santa Cruz. I think that one, yeah, that one's an 8.26. Then the Flip's an eight. Then I had a uh, Baker Andrew Reynolds, 8.25. Mike Von Gunton has that one now. Then a Skate Rats, eight. And then I had a uh, Baker Brian Herman. Taylor McCarthy has that one, it's an 8.19. And I'll be getting that one back soon. I don't know if he broke it or not, but I don't really care as long as, you know, he had he enjoyed it and I'm able to get it back. That's I'm happy with that. Then I had this Baker, 8.19. Then I had a Plan B, 8 inches wide. Then I had a Think, 8.25. And then I had an Expedition 1. And Julian Frank has that one permanently in his uh, collection. Happy it's in good hands. And the Baker Shane Hill bees. I think it's like eight or something like that. Then I had a Dogtown. Spencer Pratt borrowed that one. 
He has a new deck now, so I'll have to see when I can get the dog town back. Then I scale the Exodus. And then a Goodwood. Then almost. This is only a deck that's broken on me so far this year. Uh, then a Baker Shane Hill. Uh, Energizer deck. Virgil has that one. Virgil Mitany, he has he borrowed that one. Then a real uh, Martini collaboration deck. Then uh, Death Wish, and then uh, Assault, and that one was also one of my favorites. Uh, Gil has that one. I don't know when I'll be getting it back. I don't know if he's, he might still be skating it, so I'll just get it back whenever he gets a new deck. Uh, ATM, 8.2. Oh yeah, the uh, Death Wish, okay, wait, where'd I leave off on the size? Okay, yeah, 8, and then 8, and then, um, or wait. Which one was after that Baker? Uh, oh, wait, yeah. 8, 8, 2, 5, 8, 2, 5, 8, 2, 5, 8, 2, 5. Wait, no, 8. Yeah, this one's an 8. 8, 2, 5. Uh, 8, 2, 5, 8, 1, 2. And the Death Wish is my favorite size, 8.38. Uh, Salt was an 8.125. ATM's at 8.2. This reel, I didn't really skate for that long, but it's 8.38. And then I got a really nice deck sponsor, RTA. This one's at 8.2. It's actually my basement setup currently. 8.3, 8.3, then my current setup, 8.3 with independent 149s, and uh, Better Will, 54, my, my Will sponsor. And uh, that's all I've skated so far. Yeah, a lot of decks missing, and I'm going to try to point out the years here. Um, 1990s would be, like, way over there. I started skating. I got my first board Christmas in 1996. I don't have any more, but my collection that I currently have of all the decks that I have, 2006, 2007, there's spaces where decks would be missing pretty much. I tried to do that. It's not real clear, but you can have a guess. 2008, 2008. 2008, Eleven into twelve, twenty twelve, 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 twelve and a thirteen, twenty thirteen, 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 all the way up on through. So that's what I've uh, skated so far. Uh, this one's eight point three. I actually might go up to eight point five again. Uh, or 8.4, because actually my favorite size is actually closer to 8.4, so I'm thinking 8.4 might actually be about perfect. But 8.3 is also really nice. I'll really skate uh, the size I'm comfortable with. I've actually, I, I have a 9 that I use on transition, but I can also do flip tricks with it just fine. So I think realistically, I can actually skate pretty good between the sizes of 8 and 9.1 on street. But 8 is kind of hard for me to catch. I really do, my favorite size for street is actually between 8.2 and 8.5, uh, which is weird because I'm a small guy, but hey, you know, it's personal preference. And my current setup, actually it has my favorite grip tape on it. Just give me a sec. Yeah, I've had that grip on uh, quite a few other decks. And... Uh, yeah, that's really about it. Got some Vox shoes right now. I can't really make a video with shoes because I have so many missing, so I can't. But I really do like America, Vox, iPath, basically the more core companies. But Vox is my current favorite. And yeah, can't really do that with trucks or wheels or anything else. I can really only make videos like this with decks, so I try to hold on to as many as possible. Uh, but yeah, that's really about it.